Hello everybody, welcome to the third episode of the second season of my podcast. This season's main topic of discussion is of course the fast food industry and for today's individual episode I'll be looking into hospitals and their habits of allowing fast food companies to serve unhealthy foods within their hospital. Now just before I fully start this video I want to share this with you because I'm very very interested to hear your opinions um, but I know there are two different sides to this. Um, there are a lot of people that say that of course hospitals should set an example and they should ban fast food outlets from operating in hospitals. However, there's a lot of people who are totally on the other side of the spectrum which believe that it's all down to the patients or the friends and families of the patients who are in this hospital. Anyone who is in hospital, they should totally have self-control. It should be down to themselves. They should know what a balanced diet is and why it's needed. And basically, it's it's all on the the human beings, not on the hospitals, if that makes any sense. So I'm wondering what side of this you're actually on. I think many people will agree that hospital food is not the best kind of food you'll, you'll ever eat in your life. It's not tasty, nor is it the healthiest with a lot of stuff that they serve to their patients. And I say this through experience. I've mentioned this before, so I won't go into too much detail about it, but I was in hospital for several weeks, quite a few years back now, and I remember, and it's still, like, I still think about it all the time, but I remember every Tuesday, and it could possibly have been every Thursday as well, but it was definitely every Tuesday, the hospital that I was staying at would serve what they would call picnic food to their patients. And this was something that happened every single Tuesday. And what would happen is the cooks or the servers or whatever would come around with their trolley of this crappy picnic food. And we as patients would be able to pick out what we wanted from this trolley of picnic food. There was very little choice. And in terms of picnic food, I'm... I'm saying like there were things on offer like crisps, mini sausage rolls, like little party foods, things like that. And every single week I hated the days that the hospital would serve picnic food to its patients. And I didn't agree with it. My mum and dad didn't agree with it either. I mean, if you're in hospital, you clearly need to be looked after. And that starts from the foods that you are allowing your patients to, to digest. And being nursed back to health is eating healthily as well. The two go hand in hand. They kind of complement each other in a way. Um, so for a lot of my hospital stay, I actually forced my mum and dad to bring in food from our home and also cutlery as well, like knives, spoons, forks. And, and I would get them to bring loads of stuff in from home when they would come to visit me late on an afternoon so that I, you know, could eat some decent foods while I was in hospital. Um, and I had a little cupboard next to my bed and I remember that I would stash food and cutlery in there because sometimes the cutlery was not clean either and it was just it was it was it was gross <laughs> that's the only word that i can describe it as it was gross um you know i i don't expect food in hospitals to be like fabulous high standard high class i just expect it to be healthy and you know putting picnic food on or just unhealthy food on for your patients really is not a good example and you know you're serving unhealthy food to unwell people who need their strength building back up and their health building back up of course and you know I do want to say that that my experience was years ago but you know things could have changed do I do I think they will have done no, 
Pro probably not. They haven't changed, I don't think. Uh, but that was my experience with hospital food. And even when they weren't serving picnic food, it was still, like, not the greatest food. It was still quite unhealthy. And another thing I remember is, you know, I was... When I could get up out of my bed and walk around... Well, not walk, but when I could see the outside world past my, my hospital room in my hospital bed, I would go out in a wheelchair and I did this a couple of times and my mum or my dad would push me around the hospital and, you know, push me outside to get some fresh air. And I would look and I would see some of the outlets that the hospital were offering and there were a lot of unhealthy foods on offer. And what I would notice happening quite often with families or friends of the patients in hospital uh, they would go down to the food outlets purchasing like McDonald's, Burger King, whatever, and then they would give it to their child or the patient. And, you know, for some families it was a one-off, but for other families it was a regular reoccurrence or a regular occurrence, sorry. As well, like, I don't mind fast food being a treat and part of a balanced diet. Balanced diet is so important. I feel like I've repeated myself far too much with this but it is and I don't think a lot of people realize how important a balanced diet actually is in order to stay as fit and as healthy as you possibly can and the thing is when you're not having a balanced diet you're not um, eating the right foods on a regular basis it could possibly be slowing down recovery and of course it's unhealthy so it's just not good. I have a quote here actually from the from Living Healthily on this topic which reads, there is something very backwards about hospital food. How is it that in a building where heart surgeries are performed daily, greasy processed foods are being dished out to patients and visitors? I completely agree with that. It is somewhat very hypocritical for hospitals to allow Burger King, McDonald's, all of those to serve foods knowing how bad it is to anyone who is in that hospital. 110 American hospitals back in 2011 were serving foods and creating menus which were dominated by foods with high salt, high sugar and high fats. I think hospitals here, it's all about setting an example of a good, healthy, balanced lifestyle. I mean, really, if a patient, for example, is addicted to foods that are particularly of high fat, high salt, high sugar, then it could land someone in hospital, or indeed back in hospital. As for over here in the UK, recent years, Parliament have actually been trying to fight this case. And, you know, of course, hospitals need to advertise good health not serving fast foods in in my opinion anyway and i know i said this earlier but it's okay to have fast food sometimes uh, the key word there being sometimes <laughs> we don't need to overindulge we shouldn't be overindulging in these high fat or sugary unhealthy foods the cross party committee here in the uk have said the nhs should lead by example and manage its estate in a way that stops promoting the overconsumption of energy dense nutritionally poor food and honestly, in my opinion, I think part of the reason the NHS are doing this here in England is because it's a, that little bit more cost effective and it lowers costs in hospitals that little bit. Um, but then I think they need to bear in mind that in the long run, it could have a worse effect on them because then they're going to have to spend more money on expensive but life-saving surgeries on overweight patients. One of the biggest reasons for the increase in obesity, I think, is that fast foods are being so heavily advertised. Whether that's on television, on billboards, fast food brands themselves, they're all over the world. You can't walk five minutes down the street without walking past a McDonald's, a KFC, a Burger King, or whatever you may have in your area of the world. There's so much of them. It's so hard to get away from fast foods. And I think it's it's somewhat being forced down customers' throats. In a place like hospitals where unwell people go to be looked after, I think it's rather shocking that they are allowing fast food companies to sell 
junk food in their hospitals. However, that is just my thought, my opinion. I have said, you know, the other side of the spectrum is that people just think it's all down to self-control. The hospitals can offer fast foods. However, um, I think if they're going to offer fast foods, they shouldn't be allowing the patients of the hospitals to be indulging in it perhaps I don't know but obviously going back to you know the total other end of the spectrum is that hospitals should be allowed to have fast food outlets in hospitals but um, it, it's all down to self-control that particular person um, they should just rein it in they should not be as greedy things like that so there is two very different sides to this um but like I said at the start of this podcast, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the description box. What am I saying? Let me know in the comments section down below. All of the links that I used to put together this podcast for you guys today will be in the description box down below, along with the first season of my podcast, which was on gender exclusive stereotypes and expectations, just in case you guys want to go and check that out as well. So thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.